years ago, uh, the, the founder of the Fortis Group, Mike Marezio, uh, had a vision to open an urgent care. And the CEO, Jeremy Inc., approached me and together um, we formed a partnership, Upstate Providers, where we opened primary urgent care to provide urgent care to the greater Utica community as well as occupational medicine. The only thing I would say is primary urgent care is a little different than everybody in the community because we are you know, basically family owned, we're a small business and we follow the golden rule, treat people the way you would want to be treated. And we have done that since day one and I think we're doing a great job of it. And I'm so honored, you know, to be that our company was, you know, um, nominated for this award because that's really been the goal is to just treat people well, um, make them feel better and get people healthy and then also prevent illness and go out in the community, do these flu clinics, raise money for causes um, and try to make Utica a happier and healthier place, which and I believe in Utica. So Terra is a full service investigative firm. We provide investigative and training services to you know, uh, organizations, businesses, uh, and, and individuals. We opened in, uh, officially in March of 2017. Um, that's it, we provide civil, criminal, cyber, and workers' comp investigations. We do, and, and origin and cause investigations for fires. We do training, sexual harassment training, uh, workplace violence, and active shooter training. Sexual harassment seems to be the hot topic right now with the, with the new laws. And we do risk and threat assessments. We identify physical, uh, you know, we do physical assessments. We identify the vulnerabilities of businesses and organizations. And we provide, try to provide cost-effective solutions to, to lessen those um, exposures. So Pass Lachlan Associates is a law firm primarily focusing on trial and litigation work. Um, our main focus is personal injury, criminal defense, and DWI defense. We're actually in the process of opening a satellite office in Rome right now. Uh, so, you know, pushing our market a little bit west towards Syracuse and uh, just again trying to continue the growth, make sure that our clients are happy and satisfied with the work that we're doing for them and, you know, constantly giving back to the community. Our location in Utica couldn't be better. We occupy 610 and 612 Charlotte Street, right in downtown Utica, that I purchased and we renovated them top to bottom. And it's really been a joy to see the development. And it's fun now because we have yet to do the exterior. So people walk in and to, just the look on their face when they come in, because they're very modern and contemporary offices, uh, to see you know, their reaction to something they were definitely not expecting when they walked through the door is really, really cool. To help revitalize downtown, to have a piece of that, uh, not to mention we're directly across the street from county court, family court, surrogates court, county clerk's office, the law library, the DA's office, the federal building, you know, we're very centrally located for what we're doing. So I don't think we could have a better location. I think that helps us do our job better and more efficiently. We have a lot of great exposure with the foot traffic down here and we love being downtown next to all the great the expansion and growth that's happening down here with you know cafes and restaurants and retail and things like that. Giving back to the community has always been very big for me. Um, it was kind of instilled by my parents I think you know my dad was always a big volunteer and things like that. You know I've been a member of Utica, Greater Utica Rotary for a number of years now and the I kind of try to bring that into the firm as well. You know we try to volunteer for the United Way annually. Uh, this year the firm has donated to um, the American Cancer Society, Emma's Hope Foundation, Pediatric Cancer Foundation, um, Tom, Thomas Lindsay Foundation, uh, and a number of others, uh, but just to name a few, you know, it's, it's very important to me to give back. I was born and raised in Utica. Um, you know, I had the option to go any number of places after law school, but it was important for me to come back, be close to family, and, you know, see the development that I knew was happening here. You know, um, that was eight, nine years ago that I moved back and, you know, it's been great to see it and to be part of it more so. As we've grown, I've tried to strive to add people that I enjoy working with and that enjoy what we do also. And I think that, that that's 
happened. I think we've done a good job at that. I can say that I thoroughly enjoy what I do every day and uh, the people that I do it with. Well, it's, it's an honor to have been selected as uh, Business of the Year. Again, I want to thank the Chamber. I want to thank the, you know, everyone who has attended the luncheon today. Uh, most, I want to thank the staff at Passlockland Associates. Um, obviously, we wouldn't be where we are today, let alone having been nominated or in this position without them. Um, so thank you to them and to everyone again. It's an absolute honor.